We have an update this morning on a little boy who is making some very big strides. You first met him earlier this year after he went through an extraordinary medical procedure. Dr. John LaPook sat down with his family in North Carolina. This is three-year-old Grayson Clamp hearing the voice of his father, Len, for the very first time. Daddy loves you. Daddy loves you. <laughs> Grayson was born without the nerve that helps connect the ear to the hearing center in the brain. In April, he became the first child in the U.S. to receive an auditory brainstem implant as part of an FDA-approved clinical trial. The device on his ear collects and transmits sound through wires threaded through the skull. Those wires connect to an implanted electrode that sits in the brainstem. <laughs> this is Grayson now with his mother, Nicole. Five months have gone by since the operation. Can you describe what's happened, what Grayson's development has been like? It's like a little miracle every time you hear something to me. Um, but he's starting to develop speech. The clamps became Grayson's foster parents when he was seven weeks old. About a year later, they learned he was completely deaf. Shortly after getting the news, the clamps were given the option to adopt Grayson. When you found out that he was profoundly deaf, did you have any misgivings about going ahead with the adoption? No. We talked about what kind of parent does a deaf child need? Do they need to be with deaf parents? Do they need to be with hearing parents? What's the best situation for him? And it seemed like it was to stay with us. Sounds like Grayson just worked his way into your heart. <laughs> yeah. He did. Oh. <laughs> Grayson's teachers say he spontaneously says a few words like up, go, and bye bye. <laughs> he also just learned one new word ball. And I know that because I told him to go get the ball and he just went and got it. Despite this kind of progress, Grayson has a lot of catching up to do. Since he was a toddler, he's been communicating with hand gestures. You want to make him go up? Now he has to link sounds with their meaning, one word at a time. You want him to be a normal kid and young man, just like every parent wants for their kid. No, I don't want him to be normal, actually. I want him to be extraordinary. To anyone who's met Grayson, he already is. For CBS This Morning, Dr. John LaPook, Durham, North Carolina. Like Mrs. Clamp, I want him when to be another extraordinary. Hero. Well, yeah, yeah, and you got to hand it to the family too, because they were given the option. They say no, he's ours, and we want to take care of him. Clearly, it's more than they bargained for, but they have really risen to the challenge. Yeah. But I love what John said that he worked his way into their heart. He worked his way into a lot of hearts. But also mm -hmm. take note of this is an important new development right. in terms of the brain enabling a lot of people to mm -hmm. hear who would never be able to That's hear right. otherwise. An extraordinary story.